The move by the government to introduce national youth service buses on the city roads was met with delight and outrage in equal measure. While city dwellers receive the news in joy, a section of stakeholders in the Matatu sector have opposed the introduction of the buses, saying they were bringing unfair competition in the Matatu industry. It was a conversation that found its way to the Senate Standing Committee on Roads, with Public Service Cabinet Secretary dismissing claims of unfair practices as unfounded. When you are launching this project, we realize, in fact, we are saying 50, but we realize the Matatus are changing 20. So that means it's something that uh, you should look at it as unfair competition because it's also versus government concern for its citizens. It's in the countries like Austria. You go to Vienna, you get a ticket for a few dollars. And you can use buses, you can use trains, you can use, use trams for a whole week. That, honestly, I don't think they make any profits. That is a government that has uh, come in so that a government is not pushing citizens to poverty, but facilitating their getting out of the poverty. And we know government exists to provide for the common good, especially for the lowest level. So it is that persuasion that means that uh, during this very bad weather and the congestion that were being witnessed, the buses could come in and assist as a common good the debate coming amid concerns of increased cases of road carnage that has placed authorities tasked with enforcing traffic rules on the spot. Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet, who was appearing before the Senate committee, saying that his office will deal ruthlessly with officers accused of abetting corruption. The, 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 the standing instruction is to not take money from anybody, enforce the law as it is. And those of us who are bent know the grave risk that they run. And I wish to confirm at this point that in the last three years, we have fired close to 300 officers who are found engaged in corruption. The National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSA, telling the Standing Committee of its frustrations in efforts aimed at restoring sanity on the country's roads.